dancing clear and rule the cool it, big up on yourself. Jack Scarpio say, continue doing the work what you guys doing. It's a blessing moment and I really love the vibe. Welcome guys, welcome. We're here again still in Jamaica in Black Scorpio Studios. Right now I'm going to do an exclusive interview with none other than Jack Scorpio himself. Greetings, nice. welcome. Nice one. Man. Thank nice you so one. much for your time. Yeah, man, right, man. so I'm going to fire some quick questions and if you keep it short and brief, um, that would be good, okay? No problem. Right, so first question. What inspired you to start a sound and what year did you start? Actually, my thing started from about 1968, really. Actually, I just celebrated 50 years last year in the oh, business. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and um, inspiring me, really, to get involved with the sound system is from, I was, uh, you know, much younger. Right. About, say, uh, 10, 11, uh, actually, in my community from okay. Jerusalem that year. But I have a son named Dell, and I used to go there as a young man. And um, El Suzy Agogo used to follow it as a young man. Right. And my first work, what I get, as I was saying, 1968, my first big money, when mm -hmm. I say big money, like about 60 pounds or right. so I work. And I take it and buy my little dulcimina. Okay. I mean, everybody know, I always say that dulcimina for it's like a little grip. Mm -hmm. One side is a turntable, one side is a speaker. Okay. And I um, actually bought that and just started to play music in my community. My nice. first album was like, you know, I was a fan of Dead Rye with some feel okay. all over. I like him and, as well. And, 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 yeah. and, and, and Eptones on top. Right. As, um, you know, my two first LP. Put on those two LP, all those yep. two LP have his play hit songs and people will be gathering on my gate just to listen and mum and till I open a little shop. Mm -hmm. A little fry fish shop where sell fry fish and dumpling and little snack yeah. snack, you know. And that just to bring the money in. You bring the money in right, and that right, create okay. a little community atmosphere right. where I actually even started like a gambling thing there on Friday night and the little music I play and mm. it just started to grow and nice. I ended up buying an amplifier. I two speaker box and okay, you this set it up from nice. That. Okay, and, uh, so where did the name come from? The name is actually, you know, when I bought that little thing, I did have it named Special Eye because it was so special to me. Yes. But within that time, it was you now from '68 going to '70, two oh. years later. Yeah. You know, the sound was actually building a name. Right. Because my first time I played with a sound, when the name Special Eye, I won the clash. So I started to develop a name in my community. Okay. Which was like Marvelly and Jewsland. Right. Now building up the community, building up the name in the community now, the sound started to get famous in Special Eye. Oh. But within that time, the two political parties, which is same JLP and same um, PMP party. Yeah. They have slogan. One was saying high up. Yeah. And one was saying power. Okay. Now my son the name special eye. Yeah. So it was like, you know, I was supporting the, the the the, the, the high up party then, which oh. is which, which that was where the problem. Right. They started to come in and I said no, I can't use this name because oh. I don't want nobody to have a political song. Okay. So I changed it yeah. and because I am a Scorpio oh. and in those days now. Was that October, say, is it? Yeah, about November the second. Oh, November. The okay. second, right. right. The, 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 the same day of the reincarnation of the Empire. Right. So I born on that day. But anyway, it ended up that I changed the name from, I mean, I specialize to yep. Black Scorpio. Why? Because I am a Scorpio. Mm. And you know, in those days we always had say black, black and, yes, and you yes. know, and then you'd have Gemini, Virgo, and yeah. a couple of sound with certain yes. names of them, of them, um, them um, thing there. So I just do the same thing and change to black. Okay. And from that is it's this. It's a nice name. It's very catchy. Right. It's a very right. nice name. Thank you. Okay. So do you remember um, where and when you had your first clash? Yeah, man. My first clash was the same place in my community, <laughs> man. The first clash I clashed was I win that clash. Who did you clash? I clashed was only in Black Solidarity. He from from Ju he from Marvel and I'm from Jerusalem. Right. And that's what really inspired me. That's why my son is a clash on until yes. today, you know. Yes. I just put it on the internet and say I look in a selector what can clash. For me yes. it's really a hardcore clash man, you know. Yes, yes. You understand me? Yes. So when you talk about clash, well big up to Caxon and Downbeat the ruler who them man they created from long mm. time. And I mean people like 
Prince Buster and Derek Morgan and all them man they were dealing with Clash for years. But when it comes to, it's just like how we say, when it comes to dance hall and yeah. what the, the so called dance hall, it's we, really, me and Jamie, is really create dance hall if that is what they talk right. about dance hall. Although yeah. we are going to dance from them time there. But when you check it out, alright. Town a, a, a reggae, which, which is Trenchtown and them places. Yeah. Don't you so, we chat, we call it, don't pan it, don't have this side you so. Yes. Yes. Waterhouse and Jusan and Tawail. Okay. All of the youths them were busting a dance at fraternity, come from our side. Right. And the reggae man then come from Trenchtown and right. downtown. And, 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 and the scam man then come from Duke Lane and Mark Lane. But yeah. it's a matter about dance all and like how oh, you know so keep being the man a king of dance all. I mean, I've been the man for my nine year old. So the whole and my sound is a sound where every Thursday night me used to keep a thing in talent search. Right. Was that in the community? In the community. Yes. And the Bujubant and the Yellow mm. Man, the Shabarankin, the name them. Wow. And they do so all them come, come bus and make them name and the thing I create big. So wow. we have to give thanks for me, say, King Toby, who is our teacher, which is me and Jamie's teacher. Yes. Dead and gone, but rest in peace. But with what I do, I don't see that a man do it too tough, you know, mm. with, when it comes to dance hall and sound thing, you know. Because that little Thursday night thing that creates so many mm. of these young artists. Yes, yes. And, 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 and carry this thing out to the level where they know. Right. I think, I don't see that a brother do, do more that man do it. If they matter about dance yes, hall, then. Because yes. me personally, now nah, I will give my credit for say, boy, me. Bus dancer, but what am I call dancer? For me, know me I go dance for me a little boy, and me I hear about dance, yeah. and I mean, Bob Marley I sing about oh. dance and dance yes. all and way, way. So, but like how you hear them attack, say, being them attack, say, boy, him are the king of the dance hall, and dance hall is different, it's a different genre. Yeah, it's not a different genre of music, but dance hall is in from London. But if that is what I'm call dancer, oh. well, put it this way. Me I want the founder who really set the pace to make it right. reach to the level where they then. Yes. That's yes. what my young lad say. But you know, as I say, right. it's a journey. Yes. And we're glad so we do it and glad so they use them okay. realize. Yes. You know? Alright, so what's the greatest and most memorable ca um, clash that you remember? Well, boy, there are so many of them, you know. There must be that one that you thought, oh, this one was tough. No. I was feeling the heat in this one. Yeah, well, <laughs> why the most of them are with me and Jamie, you know. Okay. And, 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 and you know, well, well me, me have good and bad. Mm. My, one of my greatest memory clash was the one with me at Cinema Tool, you know. We are the person who starts Sting, when you hear about Sting. Right. And Sound System is really developed from Sound Clash. Okay. And this is why Sting end up to be a Clash right. stage show. Right. Neither man got talk about the Agua Sting and it's not a Clash. Mm. Clash. So we have sound like King James, mm. Youth Man Promotion, Black Star and my sound, Black Scorpio. Right. In a cinema too. Mm -hmm. Big Clash. Yeah. You understand me? I tell you about the one where me remember and, 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 and automatically that night, boy, me sound up on top, me DJ up on top. Yeah. And one of those days, like now, where we have um, new tricks behind the sound back. Those days, we just tie up a wire them and yeah. the man them just come cut off my wire them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they were playing dirty with you, huh? Dirty! Oh, that and ain't that, right. And that never right. And the <laughs> night, let me tell you what really happened. Mm. Mm. It's end up, you know, for exactly the dance, I've done nearly. I'm mm. my lead. Yeah. For I end up, that's my DJ, them say win the clash. Mm. Win the DJ the night, which is a general tree. And it end up now that youth man promotion for Black Star to get drop out. Mm. A youth man promotion and Jamie's go down to the final. Right. So it happened that the trophy cheer ended up that one big up roll and the trophy mash up and a whole heap of bad vibes. Because it was pure bad vibe. Oh, but wow. that is one of my baddest memory what I remember and yeah. what I know. And then we come there clean and oh, oh my yeah. DJ can win, oh the jacket can win and the ass can win. So yeah. anyway, that was one. But another memory again, I'm most of my memory with Jamie, you know. It's where my players, um, mask camp, that I end up on Oxford Road, me and Jamie's, and I draw a Calypso Road for him, mm -hmm. and with the moon with him, and 
write him off with about three, four thousand people in that dance. Wow. So we talk about the good and there's many more, yes, but yes, you know yes. I mean there are two others I give you. And but you know the most rival with me and some city, I mean Jamis and Kilimanjaro. Okay. You understand okay. me? So you know. Right. Yeah, Don Sinclair has many of these clashes up on his channel. Yeah, he's got <laughs> yeah, them man. stacked up there, you know. So yeah, man, them time the judge general tree name me in my ass man suit and all them thing there. <laughs> you suppose if you have them dance from the, the, the you two supposed to have them dancing man, cinema two man. Mm. We in the eighties or late eighties are you know them time the man. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna roll on to the next question. Um name three important things. Um, that you would advise someone that's trying to set up and sound? Repeat. So three key points that you would give a young person trying to set up a sound. Okay. A start up. You know, yeah like man, well up. listen, you know, as I said, you know, honestly, me me personally, Jack Scarpia, a black Scarpia sound, we really is more like a clash sound. You know what I mean? I you know enough people in the world love that. Me personally, me not say everybody for come to the same thing. For Stone Love is a great sound and him mm. not really clash like how we But uh, that help him to be famous. For our sound him play with and get famous. But me always say if a young man want to get involved in this sound business here, him still have to be positive and mm. try to do the right thing because although we clash, we, not the clash like what we say yeah. I go on today. Mm -hmm. For this clash, what is happening yeah. today? When I go out in a dance and hear a guy I talk about, this and that and yes, yes. That's that, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's just like producing. Yes. Me's a producer who don't produce a right. song I can't play on radio. Right. So right. I don't really go into a dance and go tap on the mic, something mm. I can't refresh to my kids them and to my people them. And when I don't clash I can't come put it the cassette in my mm. house and play it and my children them yes, here yes, yes. So, you know, it's not like what is happening now. Mm. And and, and, and and this one of the thing where I would have said uh, we as elders are elders it's like a parents, you a mother or a father. We just need to pay more attention to our kids and our children. Mm. For the internet has messed them up. Yes. And they mess up a lot of things. Mm. That's why enough things get astray and enough things are happening and them attack, all type of things. But we don't take the time to tell them, say, no, it's not right. No, nowadays, parents want the time with them kids because they're so busy Indeed. trying to yes. make the food and make the yeah. money. And yeah. every, every, every kid want to know something. Him just go YouTube it and, him, and, him, and, 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 and then, yes. you know. Yeah. So, my uncle said to this, saying to this, is like, we, me personally, would have suggest and tell the, the, the world or the youth them, say, listen. Try to be positive. Yes. Try to do the right thing. Try to do just in like when I do a song that can last for the next 20, 40, 50 years, mm -hmm. like Bob. Try to do anything what you do within the music can mm -hmm. last forever. Mm -hmm. And that means that uh, you just tell me your friend has some of my video there. Yes. Now you can look on them for the next 20 years and 10 years and you enjoy them and you just laugh and I say, boy, yes. this is fun. Yeah. Now this is all, but listen, when you listen to this clash, I hear the whole heap of dirty Fanity, thing and the yes, this and the yes. that. How does you, you can't put that in your house. No. For make your children yes, hear it. Yes. It's not good, so. Mm. Me one can tell them to just be positive, do the right thing, do clean thing. Mm. And then go see away with the artist them. It's a, it's, it's, it's a right around thing. Yeah. For the see away you mm. can say, me I got shot a man in my head, put it that way, mm -hmm. sorry. You can say, we the see a melody for his music all over. Mm. We're gonna make that love there. We're gonna love the we're gonna love my brother and it's a melody. Yes. And it's a yeah. melody. And and if it come out positive, mm. you, you, you you can't say me yeah, me, me, me know me is a warrior. But that not say me I go just go shoot and in, innocent people or yes. kill. Yeah, because mm. you know sometime in the book, you know. So you know, it yeah. just we have to just try to make them know say. Please Just stay to be positive, positive yes. with what you're doing and it will last forever. All right. Good. That's nice. That's some good advice there, young people. Yeah, my yeah, very important. Yes. All right. So say you was going to hold a dance. What three sounds would you have there? So this is going to be more or less your favorite sounds, I guess. I don't need to ask you that Well, you question. know, to be honest, you know, my three favorite sounds at the end of the day are the same jammies and Kilimanjaro. Yeah. And myself. And me use Down Beat too as a foundation man from New York. Yes. But... Basically, 
Boy, over the years, I me and them sound there. Uh, normally, we used to do Gemini. Gemini kind of ease up him there foreign mostly. You know. But the rest of sound them, you know, between me and your uncle Jara mm. and uh, Mr. Jammies, you know, the early days, it was like Virgos. And, and and people like um the same black star, the youth man promotion yes. and all of these sounds yes. there. But now a days, you know, I just recently refurbished my sound. Yep. Just like how I refurbished at my studio. Yes. And Jamie do the same thing, refurbish his studio, refurbish his sound. Mm -hmm. And I understand that Bobby Digital is coming back with his sound. Right. So, you know, and you know, Kilimanjaro sound always on the road to be yes. honest. And it's a sound where I give him respect and all of that. Okay. You understand me? So over the years of them sound really because honestly I we start the plate and special and any any sound can really. Alright. You know what I mean? Yes. Alright. So do you remember the first dub plate you bought? Yeah, the how first, much was it? I want to know the price. Well the price <laughs> for my first dub plate man and make us you know. So bought me a bit when we get. But the first dub plate me was with Johnny Clark over Tubbies, you know. Okay. You understand me? Yes. The first dub plate. Yeah. I mean, I did not dub plate those days. If I dub plate, it's just the plate. We used to call it special. Right. You understand yes. me? Yes. The first special dub plate is when we used to get pre release song from Toby. Right, yes, yes. And we cut it from dub and we play to the dance first. Mm. But the special is something where the guy them now come sing about your song. Yeah. You understand me? So. When we talk about dub plate, we normally our dub plate was dub plate was, was a, like a pre-release song. Mm. Where maybe we what Tubbies and Tubbies have a song where the same the Barrington yes. Levy or the the um, people like John Oat, my advice a new tune. Yeah. And because we want to be the first song play the new tune, yeah. we cut it on a dub plate. Yes. A dub plate is like a pre-release thing where you just cut it, but. If you talk about special, I only remember the first dub plate I cut. I can't tell you the first special which I cut was with Barrington okay. Levy. All right. We do with um no with with Johnny Clark. Okay. You understand me? What's so, your top three dubs that you've got in your box? The top three dub. Yes. <laughs> well, we Let me out. Tell us. No, well, we can't <laughs> tell you certain dub where we have a kill sounds and we have one with Brigadier Jerry. Okay. The ragamuffin. We have mm. one with John Holt. Right. Name stealing, mm. and me see the next one. I'm not giving you know, it just well, me not so lie, you know. <laughs> I just true, me not really play young, but me, 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 me vice, I can't tell the upon a stag of that with him and the body oh, sting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> As young youth, me yes. not tell you, but it's a true, me not vice, can't tell upon mm. the regular rhythm. You know, really mean vice, man, stag of that, real hardcore, authentic rhythm. No, that's that that really kills out. After what they win a big clash at New York and I be taken with a big two of fifty feet round and stuff. Don't be it on sky doors. Yeah. You understand me? And them get liquid it. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what I mean? But some big dub, some real dub, I'm tell you my real main dub them is like stealing mm. Jano. I, I am one of the first man mm. who put Jano on a dub plate on a special. You know. right. We have a special. We don't really say dub plate for that a special. special. We, mm. we, I met the rhythm and you know stealing and and pick up the pieces and up park and them three special them advice to them. Right, right. Not this trudeau down Headley Avenue. Mm. He never know nothing. We are the first one to put all knock, knock. Fred McGregor upon pan pan dub plate. Yeah. You understand me? So it, it's like these things are is true. I mean, what 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 right. we do? As, That's as, good as, to know. Yeah. All right. So do you listen? What types of music do you listen to? Do you listen to anything other than like reggae and? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, man. We listen to all my, you know. Um, let me tell you, Benny King was one of my favorite artists. Oh. Um, um, there is people like. Nat King Cole, you know, right. I, li I listen yes. to yes. classic yeah, music, classic you know, music. I, when I'm listening to music, mm. you know. Yeah. But I, as I said again, I listen to conscious music, I listen to music yes. what really, uplifting. you know, uplifting music. Yes. And you know, artists what I really love, one of my greatest artists I always talk of, mm. is really, as reggae artist, is really Delroy Wilson, okay. then it's Brown After. For right. Delroy Wilson was a you who was singing, I'm not a king, you know. Mm. And, and, and you know, uh, uh, you know, some song where yeah. you know lift you up. Yes, yes. And Dennis Brown, no, really, 
No man is an island. This song yes. just stick in my head and just yeah. uplift me as a young man. And so these young youth singing this song, Black Cinderella with um, um, Errol Dunkley. Mm. These, those, these was three youth who really inspire me a lot when it come yeah. to reggae, the part, the reggae side. But Benny King and you know Nad and all these guys was people who I would sit down on a Sunday and put on their LP and you know what I mean. Okay, so. Is there anybody out there that might be living or dead? You would have loved to have had the, you know, special from them, or you haven't had it yet. They're still out there. Is this well, somebody? yeah. Well, you know, there's a lot of people out there still. What really, I really. So That's who a comes lot. to me mind know, first? Me know, me know, me know. You know, you say, you know, when 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 people like, you know, for I. You know, the Wailers was one of my greatest yeah. idols in the music way. Mm. I'm gonna get Bunny and and thing at right. the place now. I didn't get Peter and I didn't mm. get um I didn't get um Bob, Bob. then. Okay. Yeah. But 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 I, I get Bonnie. But right now to what is happening now, young go young artists were well, I see quite a few of them out here what yeah. I would have really want, but the main one well I don't vice yet, but I think one day not just a dub plate, but I'd really love to sit and work with him in Scranix. Right, because I yes. see him as a positive youth. Yes, and yes. I have some great rhythm where I think if I get him in my studio and get past <laughs> one and rhythm here, he will not just bring joy to this little place and want to see some of them rhythm here. To the melody and to the mm. voice and to the lyrics, mm -hmm. that what he's sending out there, him is an artist what I really have to talk of all the time because he met me really to say we have hopes in this music. Okay. Yeah. So you've travelled a bit, I understand. Yeah, man. Is there any country that you've not been to you well, like to Well, one of them I love right now is go to Africa. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yes. I go Europe, I go Australia, I go so many places, but yes. I never really live in Africa. Where would you start first in Africa? Well, <clears throat> and actually, <clears throat> you know, Ganda, South Africa, any one of them, you know, them, you know, I love reggae music and love. Reggae music is big in Africa. In Africa. Yes. So, yeah. you know, if I could have get an opportunity for can go there. And the next place what I really want to go to is Brazil. Yes. You know, these are some of the places and these people have been supporting my music. And okay. I know them and support my music, mm. you know. For me, it's one of the man too, you know. Let me tell you how me play, you know, like with the pan, the jam rock crews were there. Mm -hmm. I mean, the man who play a oh, what a black scarpia production. And when people are here, they can't believe say a my tune. For me, really, have some real <laughs> hits, some yeah. real song where we can play for an hour, two hour. Peer my label, I'm gonna have to touch nobody. Wow. And the place mash up. What day I go to IRFM and when I get Elise Kelly a CD and she said, play. And she said, boy, it's scarpia. Boy, your catalog <laughs> heavy. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, so. Me, 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 me not just want to play, just more want to play yeah. in Africa some of my production coming from me. Take up all the 45 them and put on the turn table and say, see this from 1980 it make. And yes. put it on and them a jump to it for them a year to year. Mm. But them you know, for nowadays you know, especially the youth them you know, them you know who they behind the song them and who produce them you know. For everything they on computer, mm -hmm. everything they on internet. So them no, but them not get the real Man, them behind for most of my some of these kids don't know Father Five yeah. who are playing music mm, now. It's mm. playing computer, them are playing them, they never talk about Father Five. Yeah. But me, when I play for me, that man still keep my catalog of my record. Mm -hmm. So, me have them with me, who, and me go all of Brazil now, and me go a, 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 in Africa. Africa. Me would have taken them, would have just one and them bring a turntable, mm -hmm. and me can get to play the right. natural. Yes. Yeah. Before me go touch all dub plate and touch yeah. all certain things. For me, know them I look forward to that. But this is the type of thing what me personally want to do you now in my time now, is to go around the world mm -hmm. and just show them some of the works what I do. Right. And, yes. and, 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 and the song them what I do. Mm. And some of the artists and what I bust. Okay. And, 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 and and you know, right now this is my dream for the next right. you know, whatsoever little moment God give me for life yes. on this land. Yeah. Sure you you understand me? Yes. Definitely. Alright. So say you weren't in the music industry. What other or well, you are? Let's go back maybe when you was younger. What other jobs did you do? You know, me was a steel director, I was a builder, you know. Okay. I mean, when I know the steel, I mean, I know this mother be a building. When you come ahead, I have no the first story, there are three stories <laughs> up there. 
And if you look on this up here, so you know that three stories for me. And all of this is my building, and me that have one of Patrick City. So I would be actually, I tell you the truth, I, was a, I would be a builder. Okay. For even Tivoli Garden in a 1961, when me just a youth mm. and, 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 and just a learn trade. Well, I can tell you now, about 1960? No, that's 61. You know, no, after 61. About 1960. You know, the CM 67, mm. 66, 67, mm. when Tivoli just make. I used to learn trade as a steel director, as a right. steel man, and I work on the first house down okay. there. I work on Trinityville Housing Scheme, um, Trinityville School in St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. I work on the arm um, wow. in Maypen. Mean, yeah, man, I, I work on... Did you on, enjoy it? I enjoy it. Yeah. Because you know what happened? To the day, I understand about building, you know what I mean? Mm. I understand all of my building, I actually be the... Four men are the right. bass feet. Yes. I just call in a mason and I call and I tell a man what to do or what to do. Because I That's understand. That's good because you're refurbing your whole studio at the moment. I, as well. And it's me doing so it. You're and, the general and, and, right now, right? Eh? Yeah. All the works are me. Just tell me, we just give man order what to do. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, mm -hmm. you know if, I never do, if I wasn't doing music, I would definitely be a construction builder. Okay. So often I find that when I'm amongst people talking about sound clashes and sounds, etc., the, the name David Rodigan always comes up. Yeah, man. No, that man. <laughs> when no one clash with me again, we don't know why. What, <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts around that? No, what do you I, think? I, you mean, why? No, I rate him as a man who really uplift the music and uplift the clashing. Right. Enough people don't know him about, enough things to tell him about clashing. But some people say, oh, he's not a sound because he don't have, you know, his own boxes, etc. Yeah, would you, well, what would you consider? Well, he, 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 put it this way, he's David Radigan. He don't really have a sound, but nowadays, the system, enough of them not have no sound neither. In you know, my days, I don't even mm. know. You have to have a sound for really in a yes. real sound clash. Yeah. For if your sound now play good, you're going to lose. Mm. You understand mm. me? It's just like what they when me and Jamis and Jaro play, three sound have a string up. Right. So people are listening to three sound mm. who are play better, and then when they don't listen to the artists and which artists are sound better, and then listen to the song, then we sang a play better. So everything I've coordinated in, in my time. Yes. I don't even know, that's what I told me. But I wouldn't take away nothing from Radigan, because Radigan is just like a barrage. Yeah. And they work on radio. So, mm. For him to get involved in it and say, well, then, it, but to be honest, you know, remember this. As I said, Radigan is not a sound, mm. but he's Radigan. Mm. And at the end of the day, he still uplift our music to a level, and even the class culture. Right. He right. uplift it to another level. Yes. So, I don't have nothing to take away from him with that because he don't have a sound. Because most of what is happening, everybody don't have a laptop. And then, like our days now, where. Uh, you know, so, you know, it's not because him do have a sound, I'm going to beat him down for that. Yeah, if I yeah. him do otherwise for the sound and for the music, mm, mm. playing on the radio, yeah. uplifting our music. Yeah. So, big up yourself, ready. There's okay. no way I can, you know, kill him. You know, enough man to say, yeah, 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 but we can't do that because we see him do other things for the music. Right, right. Which is the same reggae music, yeah. And if you're a white man who live in England and take it to try to put it to mm. a little standard. And yeah. make, people all over the world can recognize our mm -hmm. reggae music. We have to lift up, we are to him and give him credit okay. for that. Okay. Right, so what can the people out there, all your fans, people, followers like us, mm -hmm. expect from you in 2019? Well, you see them, I expect from me. I'm coming to the studio. I'm looking young artists right now, sitting here talking to you. Mm. You know what I mean? Young engineer. Yeah. Try to create ladies. Yeah, yeah. we no. have to call out for the ladies. Yeah, we need ladies need, out there that are yeah, interested. Yeah, yeah, very, in very, sound. very. I would Come love, to, I would love, I would love more women for real. I was talking about what I would my have all a woman engineer. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, but listen, I am alive still, mm. and I want to uplift a lot of younger generation. And whatever I can teach them and make them know, I'm willing to do that mm. at this time of my life. So. You know, we open up my door for young artists, young engineer, and young selector. Right. For I'm looking at good selector, but me, honestly, more want a nice little talk and juggle as yes, a party and this, but more want to can really juggle clash. For Scarpia is really a clash zone. We can't hide and talk that. We have to talk it loud and clear. Right. Say, Uno knows a Scarpia warrior zone. So, for <laughs> me, get a selector, I want a selector who can defend it. 
Yes. You understand me? Well, I saw the system go. I saw the thing go. And most of my dog play it. It just mark war upon it. Mm. You understand mm. me? So nice. definitely, me I look at selector who can talk and can defend a mm. class. You know, must win everything, but we can win some. For you know, you're not gonna defend it. For me, that man, me not gonna say me can win everything. Me can win everything, but sometimes <laughs> you get lucky and you win. And you know that night is your night. No care what you do, you can't run. If you win your crowd, I the thing that. Do you win most of your tennis matches? Oh, <laughs> uh, well. How do you do with that? No, well, I win a couple of them, but not, you know, I'm not playing tournament like before, to right. be honest. Right. I'm also doing it for those exercise. Okay, that's body. good, that's good. Mm. All right, so I'm going to wrap up now. Mm. Um, is there any message you have for John Sinclair and myself and Ruli Cooley for the work that well, we're doing at the Well, I really appreciate the work that you guys doing and to go and promoting reggae music and dance and music and sound culture. It's a big move. Keep, keep on doing what you're doing, Dan. Respect yeah. that. Yeah, man. Because that big move here promote our culture. This is an authentic thing, you know. Especially what I do as a young man in my community to see it reach this level here, I feel proud of it. Mm. You understand me? I just feel proud of enough of the artists, them. I'm going to give you a little one history before you go. You know, Buzzy Banton come here a couple of years ago. And I had a dub room and I buy some song for me. Now for me, for some Japanese. And when I'm done voice, the song is for Japanese. I said to him, Bojo, well, give me two dub for my son, no man. And the man looked at me and said, Scorpio, what are you tape there? What do you mean? Give me two dub. Put on your tape. You know him talk already for him. <laughs> him kind of buy. And I put on my tape, you know. Put on the rhythm, the just a boss that I'm making now. I miss the man vice four dub play straight from Punani, you know, and invite him just <laughs> next track man, good next track, boom boom boom, Mr. Vice. And him just a real rock, or the real rock or me see how I must replace it. Eh? Put on the real rock, the man just whoop to consignment, boom, man. I saw the man advice you now. Man mm. vice bought ten dub plays straight. That's what really, and, and that's when me see when we see my go up on the nine, like about the eight or the nine, Mr. Twin said, Bojo. Well, but we can't appear here, man. You know, the poor and oh, Scorpio, can't appear me, and me if you appear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's no, nice. No, no, this is this is a part of when the man said that to me, you know. Remember, this is what Bojo tell me, you know. You hear the man said to me, you know, mm. I'm the Scorpio, I'm going to give you a little history about what happened in my youth days when I was a youth, I come at your place, you know. He said, Scorpio, I come on your place one Thursday night, you know, I'm just a youth, you know. Leave school and for my place was the place. Everybody had to talk about Scorpio. And when you want bus, you have to come round there. Because I did saw the talent search there. So he said, the first night he didn't come round there and him DJ. He said, look at you, they don't need color chin. You know, give him 20% of what you used to get percent. Now if you win, you, you know, we entertain and you get some food and you get some liquor, you get a little money or mm -hmm. Some in, in uh, for them time, in the middle of the party, we have boss you, we look DJ and singer. So it was just a, 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 a thing for making a name. And him says, Scorpio, if you want to know what you do, you know, look for me good and say, you know what you do as the boss? You, Scorpio, as the boss, you take the mic from the man. And say, no. And look for me, and you look for me good. I mean, it was I remember the night at the time, for me, my mother, my shed at the front of the yard. And he said, look for me good and say, no man, that youth deserve more than 20%, man. I'm going to put 50 pounds and make him get 17. He said, me, it's well big, so you know, I'll tell you, tell that, you know. Remember, Boudreau showed me this, you know, that youth, you know. He said, come on, him DJ. He said, I mean, I make him know I'm a DJ, you know, when he see me do it to him, you know. He said, say, that just inspire him from that moment there. Never forget that. Mm. Now, some people have seen me on my internet with him. And we are German, him see me one day, the man I work on one stage, and me, I'm with the German, and me, 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 me and um, Taros Riley, me and Taros Riley, the you know, Taros Riley, him father, yeah. Jimmy Riley was dead, and me and Jimmy Riley on tour, in a Germany, and Bujo, I work the night, and we never work. And Bujo, they on stage, I work, and I never forget this, I don't know so that you got me, you know. And I walk up to the place, I used to chew my tall. And in the past stage, I'm here, the tall man was coming around with a DJ and the man look and say, and say, what? And you know, he just tapped the band instantly and said, what are they? 
Start the band of liquor. How that? I don't scarf you that. And I say, yeah. And then say, what? Cut! Cut! And then man I respond to my career. Come up here, so scarf you. And call me and see that this so man take the picture there. Right now, me I tell you the truth, say. I go in my yard one day, that, 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 that before him did that thing one time, and I go around there. I had to go around him place. The first me I go around him through there. And he said to me, say, when I go there, I know enough man around there, and the man must say, boy, I like, must like, like, call him king. He scarf you out of the gate. He said, so, what? Whoop the gate wide! And <laughs> 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 whoop the gate and I drive in. When I drive in, you know him have him through and sit down like over there, sit down there. So. I just get up out of the chair and I say, Scarpe, you for sitting there, you know. And you are the king now, right there, you know. Uh -huh. I say, I'm going to show him little son, the one who I produce. So, you see my son there, the time he never started to produce, I still go to school now in Kaki, you know. He says, so I look when I come to your place in the Scarpe, you know. I show him son what in his in in school clothes, you know, and I see him, you know. So, you know, these are some of the things that I'm going If an artist can look on you and tell you that, Remember to me say to him, you know. I don't know me, but no, say. Yes. This, is, this talent search was something you had to do for the community. Mm. And it comes like my father, too. Yes. Him do the same thing. Him says, Scarpe, you don't even know what you do to me, you know. You don't know. You're good, you're good, you're, mm. You make this platform, you know, And you don't realize what you do. Mm. You understand me? I see what him do, do for me, I never even take a dollar. And say, what, Scarpe, yes, you what you nice. do to me? You understand me? So it's almost. You know, this could nowadays you the mother want to charge me. But I'll have Shabba ranking and a being the man and all them. Them you there. Them you there just. <laughs> if them you the want me to give them money, but I said, boy, stop you. Anything you give me, take it up. You know, I'm going to look for it if you want to do something. <laughs> like Shabba. Shabba, I said, boy, stop you. Right. Anything you know, me, me turn me back. Anything. <laughs> so, you know, but it's, it's as I say, you know, these, th these things was just. You know, you're doing good and you just continue. And that means that's what I have a day after though. Right. Day Thank day you for day. sharing that. Thank you. So we get a lot of history. We get some good advice. We learn some tips on how to play tennis and to become the top general on the court. <laughs> yeah, the top general in the music team. Come on, man, the music. One child is top, then one time, but he can play tennis. I love the face, oh, yes. man. <laughs> and there's career prospects here as well. So, if you guys are interested in sound engineer, you know who to contact. Yeah. So, I just want to say thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate man. your time. It's yeah, a real man. privilege to talk with you yeah, as well. Yeah, man, it's great to And man. guys, please make sure you subscribe to watch a whole exclusive interview, and we've got much more coming. Yeah, man. God bless, man. God bless.